European Society for Cardiovascular Surgery is the oldest organization in the world that gather cardiac and vascular surgeons. That society was founded in 1851 in Strasbourg. Congress in uh, Belgrade, the 65th uh, Congress of the European Society for Cardiovascular and Endovascular Surgery, it's a kind of a jubilee in two terms, it's not just the 65th, this is the 40th, uh, 40 years after the first uh, Congress that was organized in Belgrade in 1976. We are proud to be in Belgrade because one of the founding fathers of this society was Professor Stojanovic from Belgrade the former master of the actual organizer of the Congress. The, the friendly atmosphere of this Congress with a lot of young surgeons is the uh, most important uh, aspect of this Congress. My expectations are the opportunity to discuss all the generation together in a friendly atmosphere about what is new and what is happening in a, a, a discipline that's changing every day more. This Congress is of enormous importance for Serbian cardiovascular surgery, first of all, but also for medicine overall. I believe this Congress will have a great impact on Serbia and Belgrade. The participation looks very well. The scientific program is really very a uh, high-level program, so uh, I, I believe that uh, this Congress itself uh, will contribute uh, for the future of uh, ESCVS Congresses. I really see the future of our society very promising. We are depending on uh, serving and working with young people, so uh, this is uh, one important issue, one is important uh, point uh, for the uh, future of our society. To have uh, cardiac surgeons and vascular surgeons in our board together really enriches the program and uh, uh, brings a great uh, uh, strength to our society. It is an important tool and an important commitment for uh, the old or not so uh, young vascular surgeons to take care about our young vascular surgeons. The societies are uh, also very committed in doing that. And um, in terms of uh, Belgrade itself, I must to say you that uh, I'm sending some uh, fellows and as well as residents from my country to uh, learn a lot of experience, especially in open surgery here in Belgrade. Because still open surgery is a, is a need, is, a, is an important need. And uh, nowadays in our country we have more opportunities for uh, to endovascular, but not too many, not too many for the open surgery. So Belgrade is a very important uh, center uh, in order to give a uh, learning experience for uh, for our young vascular surgeons today. Yeah. The collaboration of ESCVS and ESVS is very close, thanks to our presidents and former presidents, and I personally are very happy for this close and friendly uh, collaboration in deep friendship. I see very uh, close possible collaborations and um, overlaps between our both societies. And especially the combination with cardiac surgeons gives big additional value because cardiac surgeons and vascular surgeons need to work very close together in certain areas and this is excellent to combine these specialties within one uh, society.
besides the traditional stuff that we have here in this Congress, we try to do uh, some modern uh, things here and uh, we have a mobile application that is available for all our participants where you can find the uh, list of uh, the whole program, the list of speakers, the floor plan. Uh, also, this uh, mobile application will, use for, will be used for voting during the sessions. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the 65th Congress of the European Society for Cardiovascular Surgery. Thank you so much for your coming. You honored us greatly. I would like to congratulate and thank to my dear friend Professor Lazar Davidovich for organizing this high level, uh, very important Congress in the beautiful part of the world in Belgrade. At the International Congress of European Society of uh, Cardiovascular and Endovascular Surgery is not only uh, your interest, it is also uh, very important to our faculty and for our commitment for international collaboration. The program of our Congress is rich for many highlights of the recent scientific developments in vascular, endovascular and cardiac surgery. We are delighted and honored to have here distinguished international faculty and invited speakers. As a uh, vascular program committee, I wish to, I'm cordially thank to all the friends uh, take place in the executive committee uh, because the vascular anti cardiac program has uh, really uh, include and emphasize all aspects of the surgery. We manage now here to have 73% of uh, all licensed doctors at that field to be a member of this society and we manage to keep it together all the cardiac surgical part, the vascular surgical part, the endovascular part, the cardiac anest cardiovascular anesthetist part, uh, the perfusions and the nurses together. This morning I wake up and from my home I took a cab and I came to European Congress. This is a privilege that you can have once in your lifetime. I really enjoyed with uh, Professor Davidovich in preparing this Congress and I'm thankful that he elected me as a chair of the local vascular committee. Dear colleagues, dear friends, we are looking forward to welcome you next year in Thessaloniki. Hopefully you will realize that Thessaloniki is the city where uh, various civilizations, history and the pride of Greece are there and the heart of Greece is beating there. Thank you very much for your attention.
the scientific program in Belgrade is, is absolutely outstanding. So many contributions, especially from eastern part of Europe, which is also important for our society to hear the colleagues from Russia, from all uh, countries of, the, uh, of Eastern Europe. And uh, I think minimal invasive topics for cardiac surgery are important here. And also all kind of endovascular aortic uh, treatment is a very important topic here in this, in this uh, Congress in Belgrade. First of all, I'm very much satisfied for the number of um, uh, participants who arrived yesterday. Actually, there are almost 500 participants of the Congress. And of course, in the whole scientific program, which is actually the most important, the first day is usually the most important day of the whole Congress, is very much satisfactory. Just looking at the presentations and being in the presentations where I was uh, sitting at, um, the interest and uh, the quality of the um, uh, presentations uh, uh, were very much um, uh, uh, at the level we have been expecting. I think this time uh, Professor Davidovich and Dr. Konchar were very much, uh, and Professor Fabri for cardiac part, uh, they uh, invested a lot of uh, effort and uh, uh, their time and also they attracted the industry to help them to organize such a big congress. I think that's a big achievement for the local medical community as well as for the city of Belgrade and Serbian Hall. Well, this meeting uh, in Belgrade, I think the, the main quality is that it's really an up-to-date uh, of what is being done in the world in terms of vascular surgery and cardiac surgery. Uh, there are many uh, major uh, key opinion leaders, uh, both in vascular and cardiac surgery are present, and they express really the uh, global community uh, of what's happening now in, in the field. Well, we wanted to organize a, a meeting in the Balkan uh, countries and Belgrade where it came obviously as the place of choice because of its uh, heritage, the history and uh, the fact that it's very central and very easy to reach. It also has a beautiful uh, scenery, medieval town and uh, facilities in terms of hotel. And uh, we have a very good relationship with Professor Lazar Davidovich and Professor Gonkar, who really uh, did a very good job in setting up this uh, meeting here in Belgrade. For a young vascular surgeon, there's a big challenge, you know, because the old-fashioned uh, open surgery uh, is in background, uh, and they learn everywhere the endovascular things. But we all have to be prepared, even the young, young colleagues, for some complications those will sometimes come. And that is why it's very important to, to find the opportunities to study the traditional surgery. Those can be the only solution for complications. And to study the modern techniques, those are the everyday routine. The contact with the Serbian colleagues are not everyday contacts, but uh, we are very good uh, friendships and we can discuss any time all the professional problems. And you know, that region belongs together because the, even though we speak different languages, the way of thinking is the same and even the economical environment is the same. So we began in 1993, so we've been doing this for 23 years. We hope to have the first results in 2020, so a little while. Belgrade is a very important collaborator in the trial. Both centres, both, both Serbian's clinical centre and Didinui are very important for our trial. We've been collaborating with Belgrade for 23 years. 
It was wonderful. Our collaborators came from 20 different countries, 46 different centres, and they all enjoyed themselves very much indeed. Let me focus once again our uh, young colleagues and uh, their competition that was, as you know, two days ago. So I am inviting presidents of the juries, Professor Otstekin Dotto, as well as Professor Vladislav Treshka, to promote our winners. Uh, give our uh, awards, young uh, surgeon awards, to our uh, very talented young vascular surgeons and cardiac surgeons. We had given them hard times, and then at the end, at both sides, at cardiac side and vascular side, uh, we have chosen uh, three for each. I have a great honor and opportunity uh, to present uh, here the winners. We evaluated uh, uh, the papers according to scientific levels and also uh, ability of participants to discuss especially. I think that we have to thank from the deep of our hearts Professor Stekinoto that was in the last two years our president. He has done a tremendous job on the side of organization, on the financial side, but also with some special commitments, a toast for our new president, Professor Lazar Davidovich. Salute. Salute. And, and now I want to invite our president to give to the new president the honor medal of the society that has been done, has been given for the first time in 1952. It means that the history goes on and we are very happy about that. The roots are important.